everyone. Well, 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 finally, 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 I managed to filming these three beauties. These three beauties, as I show you yesterday, it's three boho gypsy style journals and uh, as I promised um, today I will show you a flip through with you and I show you what is inside so starting with no I just want to tell you all the the um, covers for these journals are made from um, snippets from fabric snippets and I make a patchwork uh, fabric big one and after I cover my uh, book covers because these are three recycled book covers and I coordinated all three journals from colors this is the green one green blue this is a red and black and yellow <laughs> yes you see the bow here but I put this yellow just because it is contrasting with the black and the dark colors for the from the cover and this is the purple one and all of them have a charm this but I show you when I do the flip through so let's get started and first of all I want to show you the purple one and all the, the journals have plus and minus 110 104 pages front and back have two signatures and have uh, sari fabrics inside very very nice fabrics you will see and each of them have a charm I attach for the bow just for fun <laughs> and this is a brooch a metallic one and I think it's just very cute to have one metallic brooch from me as a gift or as a I don't know something I want to mention they are not brand new I have so many uh, charms and uh, pendants and uh, you know collected in time over the time and it but it's also uh, still in a good condition so you could wear it if you want it's very nice one three leaves and I tie this journal because I don't do closures for the, my journals for this particular one usually I make a closure but I decided for this ones I do not do that and here we have some sorry silk it's doubled it's a very thin one and this is and it's very, you could use in your projects if you don't want to keep it in 
for your journal and yeah as I say I make a patchwork cover and I stitch several uh, fabrics and it it's not a perfect one but I really enjoy doing this uh, covers and I think the measurements are hmm. uh, just a minute I do my listing on my Etsy but I forgot the measurements it's nine inch or 22 centimeters by five and almost half inch and the spine is one one and a quarter inch it's not a big one and all have metallic corners and uh, I uh, decide to not decorate it more than this you see because I have inside some uh, beautiful tags and I think if you want to decorate the cover you could choose one of the tags and put on the front and here we have a tassel attached from my boho beads and it's color coordinated with the journal and here I have a bread from Tim Holtz and you don't like it you could take it off so and yeah we have two signatures and I uh, bind the journal with uh, three pamphlet stitch and for this I use uh, some wax thread in uh, purple color li lila color I think and yeah that's it the cover inside I start to telling you all my journals have a um, writing board or some ladies call them um, master board but writing board it's more specific for me because I use the writing board for my pages when I journal in the in my journal and have some dimensional embellishments and I just grab my uh, um, writing board and I could journal on very very nice and on the back I have just some um, scrapbook paper with some musical design and I embroidered the edges to be very sturdy and clean and I add just some bits and bobs and between the fabric and the scrapbook paper we have a thin chipboard so it's not heavy it's light but and plain so moving on for the inside cover I uh, make a pocket with some sari embroidery and I have some blingy blingy 
trims and I just uh, clean up the edges with the trim. Inside I have a tag and note a note from the bookmaker. All of them have one. And all, I want to tell you the idea for this, all these journals start with these tags. Last year, I think, we have on the Artemis and Tracy Fox's groups uh, a challenge do, to do uh, 100 tags and I don't do 100 but I managed to do some and um, I keep them and in that time I don't have I don't think to do um, Boho journal but look at for the, the uh, tags I think mm, I have to do something with them so it's a mix, mixed media collage uh, tags and for all the uh, papers what I use in the journals I put the Etsy shops for the digital in the box in the description box below to give credit for the designers but if I remember the designers I I uh, keep uh, telling and uh, give credit for them and like here we have these tags it's from um, Tracy Fox patchwork I think patchwork collection I don't know anyway if uh, I'm not very clear you find the description in the description box all the uh, shops and I add some numbers and I just have the images printed and after I add some stickles and some um, glitter glue and I just add some dimension and uh, some layers to be more beautified. Yeah. And as how I say, you could uh, put one of the tags on top or your your cover and glue them and you could have it on the journal on top I have some snippets glued them on the cover here I have a collage I don't remember this collection uh we i have here a page a folded page for more room to write you just here it's a notebook which i uh, glue on the edges various fabrics very fine fabrics to don't be don't be to bulk or you know and the pages are from a vintage ledger pa paper and yeah and here I have a pocket and I stamp it just a note and these are from Tracy Fox too I think I mix the the images I don't use just one kit or just one designer I uh, 
coordinate the colors so I have paper clips I do some with some uh, papers from my jelly prints and I just decorate it and the tabs are also from Trace Fox and I choose to make the pink one not plain uh, paper clips I'm not a pinkish girl but for this journal I uh, choose to do some pink things <laughs> Yes, some of the papers are uh, some painted papers using some alcohol inks and this paper is newspaper paper and I use the big sheets when I'm dyeing papers or fabrics and I just lay down on top of these papers to dry and uh, we have marks when uh, it's dry the dyed paper so it's very nice i love it and very thin i love the feel we have coffee dyed paper i do some tabs on top here we have a window um, tuck spot also i make a frame and I make a um, specimen window tuck or pocket or you name it. And I use some um, Indian cotton paper for to decorate the cardstock. And inside I have a beautiful pressed flower. Here I have an image from Mrs. Cog, I think, and I make a rag <laughs> with the rag image and I just layer it on top and I sew around with my sewing machine and you could use like a journaling card, you could write on them. And here we have another tag for from the challenge collection and I decide to make a two page booklet and I add this is from Tracy Fox too and uh, yeah it's just very nice you could choose any tags you decorate your cover so this is some draw my drawing very unspecial drawing but I print them and I add for this uh, journal because because the colors here I have a flip in with some beautiful Mrs. Cox image and some alcohol ink stamping coffee dyed paper um, I have a pocket here from Tracy Fox and I do some collages and I make a tag and here it's a tea bag which is which is round but it came out very dark and i do this for challenge two for tracy fox for this month's challenge and i just let a hole here and i had some very tiny tags and i just make add a smaller tags here with some collage snippets I use snippets to do small things 
and on top we have a pocket and a booklet again with some ledger paper and tea dye papers and music sheets and extra room to write in here is a uh, two pages so around and it makes a pocket and here have another big pocket with some uh, decorated with some um, collages and some simple tags just decorated with some sari fabric and here is a uh, echo dye paper I add just some fabric uh, pigments in the water that's why it's uh, pinkish this is part of the challenge too I made some gypsy style and some uh, shabby here is a tuck spot and this butterfly it's made from canvas I just draw the butterfly and after I use um, glitter glue and I decorate the canvas it's very nice it's very relaxing trying new things middle of the first signature I choose to do just a bow if you want it you could untie it and you put something on the uh, edges but I love how it looks with the bow it is a uh, waxed thread so again another pocket here with another uh, booklet I made for the inside I don't open this it's the same like the other here we have a pocket from here a small tag and a picture from a beautiful lady here I have a paper clip another paper clip collages and just and here it's a flip more room for writing this was a, a image from my friend sent me it was a doily I don't know what kind of doily and I glue on top a paper doily and just add some uh, ink on top and I add the paper clip you have a lot of room to write on right in the other part for my drawing even this page you could write on top of the image some stenciling some beautiful picture newspaper a banner with the moon and collage and a very nice image from mrs cock and i make a postcard so around with very crazy stitch and here is a flap The next, the second uh, signature have a belly band and I use Tracy Fox uh, image. I don't remember the, the collection, but I know it's her collection. And some very old money print them. 
just to see there is a belly band and I use some very blingy trim to decorate them. Here is the back for the here and I make a, a horizontal belly band and I just add a picture gypsy soul here I have a mini tag booklet made some collages and you open like this and you have room to write in it's plain coffee dyed paper and I used a tie a ribbon tie and I make a bow it's not very bulky it looks like seam binding it's very fine so and here we have a pocket you could put something there some lace and some vintage papers the other part yeah it's not too embellished but it's not too plain i think the and um yeah here we have a pocket and another pocket here we have an envelope map some lace pocket paper clip some stenciling another pocket and tuck spot and collage tag I use some sewing on my tags and on the, some pages I saw I saw a lot on this um, journals but I love sewing so here it's a pocket lace pocket some papers and here it's a stock spot and here we have another image from Mrs. Cox some tags some alcohol ink on photo paper shiny glossy photo paper some tags some labels here i have a belly band and a journaling card with pocket and this is from tracy too and on the back you could journal and this is from the tracy's kit too and for the back cover another lovely tag and this is my first um, journal I hope you like it and yeah The other is the green one and I have wrapped it around with some sari silk. I make a bow and I attach a pendant. It's a glass pendant. It's a very, very, very nice. I love it so much. Also, you could use the pendant on your necklace or I don't know 
you see it's a very very lovely glass pendant and a long strip double it's one very thin and the other it's two inches I think sorry silk creamy color and this is the journal same technique same beads same tassel just the color it's very of the journals and for this I just make a very quick flip through same thing a very nice tag which you could use on top of your cover a note from the bookmaker uh, a little tiny envelope the writing board and some scrap uh, printed paper from this and yeah another lovely tag and a lovely paper clip here is a double flip page and I add just some snippets here is a print for my uh, drawing from my art journal I think and I think it's very nice to use my drawing too and here it's a coffee filter envelope which I dyed them with some I think it was alcoholing and I saw with the zigzag stitch I add inside a tag and I decorate with some feather and some linen and Mrs. Cox image and here it's a very nice echo printed page A tag with the lovely image this is also my drawing but this is a, a painting for I make some dresses when I'm working on the I design some uh, summary dresses and I paint on them and I took a picture and I scan and I added from here some stenciling and here we have a flip page with the map you could put inside just attach here two pages and you could put here or from down you see but it do, don't fall in a, out okay this is some stenciling and some spray this is a pocket and another collage tag and some die cut I make a belly band and after I add the picture just to stop the tag here it's a 
net tag here we have a little pocket and the image is from mrs cog i think and i saw around these are so so around all these fibers and here we have the window side tuck like in it's same with the other journal but here i add just um press it leaf and here i have a postcard which i make a pocket here some images and some collage a paper clip and it's a patchwork journaling card here it's an image and i make a pocket here and i add a lovely image in this too actually this is one of my picture I took the picture some bark I think and I just printed on paper and I make a tag journaling card and I make collage and I attach a little, little, tiny, tiny tag with the word hog and I tuck here. And here we have a pocket. The other side for my painting here it's an old page and I make a collage and a pocket and the adult tag the other side for my echo print paper some painted paper another um, coffee filter envelope and a tag another flip page with some snippets a pocket and beautiful image and some ruffles on the edge and here it's a pocket and this is one of my um, shaving cream print and I take a picture and I uh, print on my printer and I make a big journaling card. A little pocket here. pocket here I think this pocket is from tsunami rose I think and here I have a side tuck from medieval mirage and here it's a laminated leaf and I make a bookmark and I tuck it here in the side a little side tuck and leaf prints on the page and just I add it here for color some stenciling here it's a pocket it's a glassine bags actually 
some sorry and here we have two tags and it's stitched on the page the glassine bag here again it's a fold out page and here on top we have pocket here it's a side tuck paper doily and here it's the other side for the other doily with some feather and collage on top and this is an image from the coloring book and I color the image and I glue on top on some fibers and some painted paper and I just make a tuck and this is a shaving cream print actually this is a, the original it's not printed and you have a pocket here and I add some stickles and some glitter glue and here it's an image uh, from Mrs. Cog I think journaling card and I add just some shimmery things and another tag which I just clip them with the hair clip and we have to tags here and this hair clip hold the boat um, tags some ledger paper coffee dyed paper tea dye paper <coughs> sorry and here is a belly band <coughs> and a nice picture image from Mrs. Cobb and a collage here another pocket with tag <coughs> Here another collage stamped and it is a fabric leaf embroidered fabric leaf and I add a butterfly and some collage fibers and this is a leaf print And here it's a big pocket and the other part for the painted paper. And this is a flip up booklet, some collage and this also is the shaving cream print, the original. And for the back, inside cover, I, add, I make a pocket here with some snippets roll and I make a little booklet and I think it's from Sigita, this print and this is from Tracy Fox, the label and some tags and I make pockets in the and I add just some leftover papers, some images, and this is the second journal. I hope you like it. This too. And 
the third one it's the red black red color and here I have a earring with clip and you could take it off and use them in your uh, I don't know use them <laughs> it's very blingy and here it's a silk very long I think it's two meters I think of I don't know if it's silk but it's a very nice vibrant color on them and you could use this too and same things just the sewing the stitch it's different from the others i make it's not similar here we have zigzag and uh, normal stitching and this is more embroidery stitching and more cleaner than the other and I sew with some gold thread this and the same uh, boho beads and the tassel and the metallic corner and yeah it's not too dark we have some yellow inside so I like it it's not my colors but when I play around with this kind of fabrics I, I really like them inside Again, we have the writing board, which is the same technique. And on the back, I use just some lined scrapbook paper. And inside, I do a pocket and with this tag but this tag it's glue on top here is couldn't take it off and a note from the bookmaker and this part we have this and this paper are different I make a pocket this is my uh, pouring uh, canvas I took a picture and I print on the matte photo paper and it's very velvety and here I have a postcard I just stitch some line here and in the other side I make three pockets I sew I divide the page in three and I make some uh, journaling cards or tags or what you name it and I attach them on the pockets I don't take it off all of them we save time okay here I have a butterfly and nice image and all of them you flip it off and take it off or and here is a natural Echo dyed paper 
I don't use color for this. Here it's a belly band. This time it's not a side tuck. This time it's the belly band and it's a specimen window belly band <laughs> and it's a dried dandelion inside. I love it. And this is also um, Indian cotton paper and some it's a tarot card backed with some tea dyed paper some collages some craft paper a pocket and here I have a collage and again on top here we have the map each of them have a map just different fro for from the others this it's so on the bottom the others you could put it's uh, not sewn here here we have a stock and here we have a pocket and here it's a rug image i think rug some time sheet paper some ruffles and this again it's original eco dyed paper leaf print another the other side time sheet music sheet some the other side for the pocket and old postcard printed old postcard here we have a corner talk and the image and here we have two uh, pocket and it's double pocket here yeah you have a lot of room to write in and the other uh, tag same collection <laughs> and this is a floating pockets this is pocket here is pocket and on the back and this is from mrs cog's images and i make a journaling card and I just attached the page with the paper clip. Here is a bingo card. And these are from Tsunami Rose, I think. And here it's a journaling card. I make a small booklet. And I attach some tag inside and belly band and here I have another belly band and tags and a small butterfly and I just attach to the page like this and echo print and half page if you don't like it to just flipping around you could just uh, glue them but I prefer to let them loose to see the lovely natural eco print paper 
this is a flip with some sequins very nice fabric and some ruffles another paper clip this is red <laughs> and i had some sequins from this these are from Tracy Fox, all of them, and this from Mrs. Cock. And this is a image. And I just add them to the pages. Attach them with the paper clip. Here is a paper bag and here i make on top a pocket and i add some images i make a tag and this is a belly band from tracy fox too just i add an image and some fibers and this is just a page which i print apart and I just attach you could put here or you could keep where you want inside or outside and this is from Nick the booksmith and the flip up booklet with Sigita's images and my shaving cream print a little pocket here some sequins and library card another pocket from um, tsunami world i think a map a pocket here another pocket double pocket one here and one here with the lovely image another echo print page and this is from my friend Claire and another lovely tag you could use this on your cover if you want it's all of them it's lovely on the cover if you like use them there another paper clip and this is a echo printed papers and The dominating color for this, you see, it's red. Echo print. And this image, it's a pocket from here. And I extend my page with some music sheets. And here I add some old book page to bind the page and the other side I add some fabric to be sturdier and this is from Tracy Fox too another two tags from um, Tsunami Rose and my shaving cream print Nick the booksmith the other part for the paper bag and here I made a little booklet with the lovely image 
this is ledger paper I put them here and here it's some fabric patchwork and image on top and a little tag and some ruffles and the last page a patchwork journaling card I just saw some lines on and Tracy's envelope and this too and the last tab is this and the pocket from this this is pocket and this is pocket two is double pocket but this is from very oh it's not very old it's 2030 envelope and I use from here here and uh, here it's very strong paper and I love how it looks and that's it my journals they when you see this video maybe they already are listed in my Etsy shop if you are interested to have one of them you find all the details in my Etsy shop and yes I hope I really hope you like them because I enjoy and I love doing them and I take in them all my love and all my energy create creative energy <laughs> and yeah that's it for today my lovelies um, please if you like it give me a thumbs up if you are not yet on my subscriber on YouTube please subscribe if you like my work and thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye for now